Hey everyone, Gig Coach Jake here, back with more hot news. Article fresh out today from CNBC about Grubhub and their tanking more. Now I got some backlash before when I said this. I talked about Grubhub tanking and people were like, yes, they're going to bounce back and they're not tanking. Here it is, right? So, I mean, it speaks for itself. Grubhub sinks as analysts say it's struggling to keep pace with Uber Eats and DoorDash. Now that's bad. I mean, they had a stronghold on the market for so long and now they're slipping dramatically and they're scrambling. A lot of things they're doing are very reactive, like all these tests they're running in the different markets on pay models are just reactive measures. But the things that they're doing are not going to help them gain ground back. So hopefully, I mean, I'm a grub up driver myself, independent contractor, and some of you. So I'm hoping to see them bounce back. Now, I also had some backlash with some people when I told them that they needed to sell their stock. Now, I'm not a stock expert. I do not play the stock market, but I do know a bit about food delivery, gig economy, and what's going on right now and how the future is going to look. Anyhow, with that being said, I told some people they needed to sell the Grubhub stock. What does it do? It keeps dropping and now it's hit an all-time low. So before I talk too much about that, let's look exactly what this article says and to discuss it a little bit more. Let's check it out. So here's the article by CNBC, like I said, just out today, March 19th. Grubhub sinks as analysts say it's struggling to keep pace with Uber Eats and DoorDash. And the keynotes say key bank analysts wrote in a note on Tuesday that Grubhub is failing to retain customers as its rivals continue to grow. Grubhub stock sank following the assessment. Now, I know a lot of stocks on the market are sinking, but this assessment alone led to a pretty significant drop. And I'll read that in just a second here. The analyst said more customers are using multiple platforms for food delivery. Now, there's a number of reasons, and I'll explain those as I read on. So let's take a look here. Now, this is by Lauren Finer. Again, CNBC just today on March 19th. So, Grubhub sank 8% on Tuesday after analysts from KeyBank Capital Markets said the food delivery service is struggling to keep customers amid increased competition from DoorDash and Uber. 8%. That's a lot, right? Now, pretty close if you want to think about like 10% numbers, 1 out of 10. That's a big chunk that they just lost in stock that they're not going to get back very easy. Yes, over time, but for those that play the stock market, watch to see that how this stabilizes and see if they have a chance to rebound. And I'll have some more information based on inside information working in the trenches as an independent contractor for Grubhub myself. See how that plays out. So for Grubhub, diner retention, initial diner spend, and peak diner spend all appear to be deteriorating, wrote the analysts, who have the equivalent of a hold rating on the stock and a price target of $74.98. The shares reached a low of $70.36 after the report. Now, in the last six months, they have completely tanked when they were at an all-time high. Uber's doubled down on its food delivery service, Uber Eats, in recent months as a prayers for an IPO that could value the company at well over $100 billion. But the bigger share losses for Grubhub, according to KeyBank, have come at the expense of DoorDash, which raised its last round at a valuation of $7.1 billion. SoftBank is Uber's largest investor, and the firm led a $535 million investment in DoorDash last year. We'll see what happens in the long term with those two. But you can see right here in this graph, right? Yes, again, a lot of stocks have tanked in the stock market, not just Grubhub. But this one in particular, if you look at market share, there's a pretty good you know, comparison there, right? In relation. DoorDash's share gain began accelerating quarter two of 2018 and showed little sign of slowing, the report said. Grubhub's customer retention started failing or started falling last year in the third quarter. The company held on to only 36% of the diners following the period, down from 42% retention in the fourth quarter of 2017 and 59% in the first quarter of that year, KeyBank said. The bright spot for Grubhub, which has a stock market value of about $7 billion, is that new diners are still trying the service at a fast clip. The analyst said that new diner growth over 28% over the previous four quarters which reflects strong market adoption of online food order and Grubhub's increased marketing efforts. Now, that could take a big hit if what they're predicting to happen does happen. That's an economic crisis, right? For the economy to take a dive. So we'll see what happens with that as well. Still among the three services, more than 40% of new diners in the market went to DoorDash along with over 50% of their spending. Customers are increasingly using multiple platforms. 
While the current battle appears to be mostly for share of new customers, growing overlap could intensify the battle for existing customers through 2019 and 2020, the analyst wrote. Newer diners seem reluctant to spend more over time in Grubhub, the analyst said, suggesting declining perceived value. Moving forward, they wrote, Grubhub will have to add three times as many new diners in the third quarter this year compared to 2018 to make up for expected churn. That is a lot. Now, there's one way they can do that, and they've been playing around with it with some of those pay models. Grubhub shares have lost more than half their value since reaching a record in September. Prior to that, they'd been on a tear, multiplying by more than sevenfold since early 2016. Now, again, part of that has to do with diner retention. One of the things that is going on is these offers are not getting accepted. There's too many low paying offers and it takes way too long because of the way that Grubhub dispatches the offers to a driver. Unless you're a premier or pro driver that has to accept a higher amount, drivers are not gonna chase after these offers because it's not gonna pay for their expenses. It's just not smart. So Grubhub's played around with some different pay models in our markets. Mine specifically, they did one where it was minimum 875 so guess what happened drivers like myself that have a typically lower acceptance rating and run multiple platforms i did primarily grubhub i accepted a lot more offers and there was a lot more happy customers because they were getting their offers right away to think about if you're a customer and you're waiting forever to get your delivery now doordash based on the fact that they kind of hide the final payout it's harder for people to cherry pick right so a lot more of those offers get filled quicker that isn't going to help door uh, grubhub so if they implement something like that that's just gonna piss off a lot of drivers and it's not gonna do them any well because they can't really backtrack from where they well where they were. So DoorDash is gonna kick your butt, Grubhub, if you do not implement something like this where you have a higher pay model to where drivers are just gonna stay and gravitate towards you, give a great service, you're gonna get your offers filled faster, and even though your dispatch system sucks, we can still make a good hourly that makes sense for us. That's one of the other things that you can change. Quit dispatching those offers right after it was placed. There should be at least a 10 minute window before we ever receive it. On top of that offer being confirmed that the restaurant was open, they've received it, and it's been input. Period. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope some of this information is helping you. Especially those of you that play the stock market and that do have Grubhub stock and that were thinking about buying it or whatever. Those that are drivers, and do not drive for DoorDash or any other company, you might want to start looking into adding some more apps because the future's not looking good. There's a lot of talk on Facebook and other groups where the demand for Grubhub slowed down a great deal. Now, I have some more videos coming on why that is, but it's not looking good and the writing's in the sand, so make sure that you plan ahead. If you like this shirt, go check out in the description. I got my merch store. There's some other things. I got hoodies different items. If you'd like to represent my brand, go ahead and go check it out and order some stuff. I made sure to order my own and make sure that it's nice. This thing, this three quarter baseball tee, it is soft and comfy, but you don't have to. It's just for those. It's an option again, down in the description below. I thank all of you for tuning in and watching my videos. Hope you have a great day, evening. Be safe out there. There's a lot of crazy people and drivers. And as always, work hard, but work smarter.